In this quick and cool video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically populate your Firestore database with Web3 blockchain data in real time. Whether it be NFTs being transfers, tokens being sold, or smart contract interactions, this can all be done with the new Morales extension available on the extensions marketplace on Firebase, the first Web3 extensions for Firebase. So for a quick demo over here, I've set up the extension to look at my account, account one over here, sending any native transactions. So Polygon Matic on the Polygon Matic testnet. So let's go ahead and send some of this Matic over here, transfer between my accounts. So let's send some to account three over here. And let's send, for example, three Matic. Let's go ahead and press next. Let's go ahead and add the gas price to be aggressive and confirm this transaction. And as this transaction goes through, we should get a automatically populated new document over here with the transaction details. And that is exactly what we got. Let's go ahead and check it out over here. We have a new from address 0x4d which is our account one over here. We have a two address, which is should be our account three. Let's go ahead and check that out. Account three over here, 0x4c, 0x4c, and the value is three Matic. As, of course, Matic has 18 decimals, so you have the 18 zeros over in here. And you have the transaction timestamp, transaction hash if you want to ch check it out on the block explorer but now you have access to this data you can let firebase handle all your database logic morales handle all your web3 data needs getting live data from the blockchain all you have to do is focus on creating a front wonderful front end if you're interested in this i'll show you how quick and easy this is to set up using the new morales streams extension on the firebase marketplace all right, let's show you step by step how fast and easy it is to get started right from scratch. It's super, super quick. So here I'm on firebase.google.com. Let's go to my console. I shouldn't have any projects, but we'll create a new project. We'll call it Morales. Continue. We don't have to enable Google Analytics, but we create the project. You can, of course, allow Google Analytics if you want. All right, sweet. Our project is now ready. We press continue and we're brought to the project page over here. And we can show you straight away how to get set up with this extension. So here in the build tab, go over and jump into extensions. All right, in the extensions page, you can open up the extensions marketplace where the Morales Streams extension should be available. Explore extensions over here. We can type in Morales and we should find it automatically over here and press install to be ready to install it to our recently created project Morales over here. Now. All we have to do is go over these steps, press next over here. And because the extension uses Firebase functions, you have to upgrade to the Blaze plan. But depending on how many streams you're listening to, the costs here on Firebase side will start off as zero. We can upgrade our project to continue. And after you go through the steps, you're now on the Blaze plan, which is pay as you go. And it starts off with a very generous free quota. Now, closing these, we have to enable a few different functionalities over here for the Morales Firebase extension to work. Cloud functions, let's enable them. Artifact registry, enable that. And secret manager, let's enable that as well. All right, beautiful stuff. Our cloud functions, artifact registry, and secret manager are all enabled for our project now. We can press next over here, which just gives us a list of all the access granted for this extension. We're good with this, press next. And now we just have to choose a location for our cloud functions. We can go with US Central or whatever is closest to your current location. And then for the Morales API key, so that the extension has access to Morales functionality in your Morales project. So for that, you have to head over to morales.io. I've already logged into my account at admin.morales.io. Here in the left sidebar, go to Web3 APIs and get your API key. Copy it from over here. Jump back over to the tab where we're prompted to add our Morales API key. Paste it in here. All right, I went and added that Morales API key. I didn't show it because it's important to keep your Morales API key safe, but just pre press the create API key and after a little while, it'll be added over in here. And now you're ready to install the extension. Press that and the installation process is started. And now you can follow the progress over here in your extensions tab on your Firebase admin dashboard. And this should take about three to five minutes. You can follow the progress with the circular progress bar going around the streams logo over here. I'll get back to you once this is installed. All right, boom shakalaka, it's installed. Let's go ahead and get started over here. And we have one key thing we have to do before setting up our morale streams to start getting information into our Firestore database here on Firebase from Web3 blockchain data. So we have these rules to allow only our Firebase functions to go ahead and change the data in the Firestore database. And so let's go ahead and copy these and then go into the build tab over here again, open up Firestore database. All right, that's open. Let's create a database. 
we can go ahead and, for example, start in test mode over here, press next, and again, press enable. All right, now that the database is set up, we go over to the rules tab over here at the top, and we can go ahead and create the rules that were set in the extension description. Let's go ahead and paste them over in here and let's publish them. And you can always, of course, if you decide to stop using the extension, change the rules to whatever they need to be. And now final thing to do is go over to the build tab again, find functions where the extension has created a function for us, extensions Morala stream webhook. And this is the webhook URL that we can pass to our Morala stream. And this will then process the data that we get from the blockchain and populate our Firestore database with transactions from the actual blockchains live in real time. How cool does that sound? Okay, so what we can do is go ahead and copy this URL from over here, copy that, jump back into Morales. Here we've got our API key, and now we can go ahead and create a stream. Let's go ahead and create a stream from the admin panel UI. This is no code version, but of course you can create a Morales stream with the Morales SDK programmatically as well, giving you a bit more flexibility. And let's go ahead and create our new stream, create it from admin. Over here, type the address that we wanna follow. So let's just take my test account over here, test account, one over here, copy this address. So for this Morales stream, we're going to follow all the native transactions of native currency on the Polygon Mumbai testnet for my account. Then let's go to production straight away. But to go to production, we have to have our webhook URL. But as we just copied our address, we have to go ahead and copy this address once more. So we have our webhook URL, paste our webhook URL over in here, like so. Then we can go to production, like so. We'll give our stream a description. Let's go, go ahead and say, for example, Firebase DB. And as a tag, this is important as that will be the document that is created in the Firestore database. Let's just say my account, for example as we are following transactions for my account. Then let's select the network. As you see, we are on the Polygon Mumbai testnet, Polygon testnet over here. So let's choose that as our selected network. But notice you can select multiple chains. All these EVM chains are compatible with Morales streams. Now, what sort of stream you want to listen to? You can start listening to NFTs being transferred, ERC20s, tokens being transferred, sold, approvals being set internal transactions, whatever. We have a whole bunch of tutorials of how to listen to different sorts of blockchain events on our YouTube channel. So go check those out. But in this case, we're just going to look at native transactions. So native currency being transferred in and out of my wallet and advanced options. You could add filters, you could add triggers that is out of, out of the scope for this video. So we can just update the stream. And now in the top right, we should see our stream being updated. So now as we go back to our streams, we should have one active stream, my account over here. And that is all you have to do. Now our Firestore database can automatically look at all the transactions that my account does here on the Polygon Mumbai testnet and update this data directly into our Firestore database. Let's try this out. Open up MetaMask over here. Let's go ahead and send some Matic outside of my account, transfer between my accounts. Let's transfer it to my account too. Let's say we transfer 2.5 Matic, like so, press next. The network is busy, so let's go ahead and change our gas fee to be aggressive so that it'll most likely go through faster. Let's go ahead and wait for the new quotes and confirm this. Now, as this is going through, we should get this Firestore database populated with this transaction directly when it goes through. Now, let's just refresh this page as it is the first element and look at that, we have a collection called Morales, a document called transactions in which we have my account, which we set as the tag for our stream over here. And we get the first transaction with all these details. The from address is my account over here, account 0x42, and we set it to my account two, which is 0x5DAD. So we can see the two address 0x5DAD and the amount was 2.5 Matic. Of course, it has the 18 decimals and we have the date it happened all this data, live blockchain data for us in our Firestore database. And if we make a new transaction, let's go ahead and jump into our account two and send the two Matic back to my account one. Let's send, transfer between my accounts, account one over here. Let's send 2.8 Matic just to make sure that everything is working fine. Let's go ahead and send this. Let's go ahead and press aggressive gas fees again and confirm this. 
And now as this goes through, we should get a new document with this new transaction. Let's see if it goes through and look at that even faster processing than Morales. We get this new transaction. The from address is my account two. the two address is my account one and the value is 2.8 Matic live blockchain data automatically into your Firestore database. So won't you look at that your favorite web two stack using Firebase to host your applications, run cloud functions, store data in the Firestore database is compatible with Web3 data automatically using the Morales extension and Morales streams. Of course, you can start looking at different things. Like I said, NFT transfers, whales transferring ERC20 tokens, one of your own smart contracts. You can listen to your own smart contracts and activity on that. All the data automatically populated the Firestore database so you don't have to worry about it. You can let Firebase handle storing the data, Morales providing you the Web3 data, and you just focus on building your beautiful front ends. If you want to see a video where we connect all this data to a React front end, for example, let us know in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.